welcome to Ashley's Little Corner. So I wanted to show you guys how I transition my plants from soil to LECA or expanded clay pebbles. And I wanted to show you guys real quick. I have two different types of expanded LECA or clay pebbles that I've been using. There's these gray ones. I have these red ones as well. So either one works just as good. They both do the same thing. They both soak up water from the bottom of it and kind of transition it to the roots that you need it to be at. I got my Monstera, or my little monster that I like to call. And she's been sitting in soil for over a year now. I've had her, I've actually separated her already once. So I think it's time to get her a new pot anyways and transition her to water since plants enjoy water anyways. So go ahead and just try to get her out of here, get all the stuff. Of course my video cut off halfway what I was saying earlier. So got her out of her pot finally and I'm just trying to get as much dirt off her roots as I can. So just gently kind of massage the roots and get the soil off. Don't mind don't mind my crazy bird. So I got one of the babies off of there. hose it off or kind of run water through the roots to get as much dirt as it can off but I feel like it just makes it more of a mess so I usually just try to leave like this so I can't get most of that off of there but on the next time I kind of change the water and stuff I'll be able to get a little more off of there so I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick a container for this Well, I bought these from my local hydroponics store. They are hydroponic containers, but you don't always have to use these. I also use my nursery pots. As long as there's holes at the bottom, it's perfectly fine to use either or. Basically the same exact thing. Water's still gonna get through and be able to get into your balls, into your cocoa pebbles, and then up into your root system. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one. And I am going to use my gray pebbles for this one. So let me go ahead and just, I'm going to fill up about maybe this much on the bottom of just pebbles before putting my roots in so my roots aren't touching water because I don't want to shock my roots since they've never touched water before. They've just been in soil. So if you take a baby off your mother plant or a cutting off your mother plant and you had it propagating in water, you can actually be just fine if the roots are touching the bottom where the water is touching because those are water roots and they're already exposed to the water and not soil. So you're fine there. So. Oh, and I washed these yesterday. So I'll go ahead and insert a clip of how I washed these. where the pot are at. So I'm going to go ahead and set this little guy in here. I kind of just wrap around the roots so they sit in there pretty good. And I actually want it to sit lower than usual so I'm actually going to push it down as much as I can. I want the base to be nice and strong for this guy because he likes to tend to do that a lot. So gonna try to place it more in the middle as well and just fill up all the way around. <laughs> And there we have it. 
Um, there's that big guy, and I have this little one that I'm actually gonna just repot by itself, so I can gift it off to somebody else if anybody else wants my monster. That's actually I think just like two years old now. So like I said, I've actually taken off half of her and I have her other half in another pot that I have to repot soon. I'm actually gonna go ahead and set her in here. So this time I'm gonna use the nursery pot and go ahead and put a little bit of pebbles on the bottom. So I only filled up to about here. And go ahead and set her in here. She's a little bigger than she should be for this pot, but I'm just kind of pushing her and her roots down in there so I can get most of her stem in there. And like I said, this is a lot cleaner and not as messy as soil. I have soil everywhere and I haven't even dropped one of those cocoa pebbles anywhere. So this is how she's been growing. I'm just gonna go ahead and let her grow. But I got some moss poles that I have that I'll put against her so she can keep growing upwards instead of sideways towards the light. I'm gonna go ahead and set her in one of these little Ikea pots. And for the first time, I don't know what you guys usually do, but since I just transitioned them to hydro and they're not used to having water, I usually just give them a nice little drink of regular water. I use my tap water because my plants seem to be okay with it. You have to just see if your plants are or not, instead of my nutrient water. So just give it a little drink and I usually just leave about like a quarter inch of water at the bottom to have it moisten the clay pebbles from the bottom and then hydrate and give a little water to the leaves as well. But like I said, I don't give them any nutrients for like about two weeks so they don't go into shock with what's going on. And I'll go ahead and make another video later on on how I mix my nutrients and what I do for my little babies everywhere. And also I have some neem oil that I've been meaning to use because of my gnat infestation. So I went ahead and got started on getting my peace lily out of its pot and just kind of massaging its way through. I'm going to do the exact same thing, try to get as much dirt as I can off of here and then go ahead and put her in a nursery pot. And I'm going to go ahead and just put her back into the pot that she had because it doesn't have any drainage holes at the bottom. So yeah, and then I'll go ahead and make another video as well on my bug spray, my insecticide spray. And then I'll go ahead and talk to you guys another day. So you guys have a great one. Happy hunting out there, whether you do any kind of hunting. And so yeah, thanks so much for watching you guys. Hopefully these little fellows will do better in their lecco. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you later. Bye.